गुड आफ्टरनून केयर्स सो टुडे विल स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर फोर ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस ग्रोइंग अप एज बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स चिल्ड्रन दिस चैप्टर इज फुल अबाउट हाउ द डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट सिचुएशन इन डिफरेंट फैमिलीज और डिफरेंट कस्टम्स हाउ गर्ल्स आर ट्रीटेड एंड हाउ बॉयज आर ट्रीटेड प्रेजेंटली इन प्रेजेंट जनरेशन नाउ वी ऑल नो के वी बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स आर ऑल इक्वली ट्रीटेड बट बिफोर इफ यू गो टू सी नाइनटीन ट्वेंटीज Nineteen sixties. Now also, you can say in uh, till two thousand, there were many many things in which the women and men or the boy and girl were not treated equally. So you will understand how and what. Here they have given an example of one island. Okay, there was the boy. Uh, can you see the? Wait, I will show you this child face over here. Yeah, he is a boy from. From an island called Som, uh, Samoy. Samoy is an island in Pacific Ocean, south side. Over there, you know, children. This this is about the story about nineteen twenties. During those days, children were not sent. Now maybe there also now schools are there. But in those days, there were no schools. Children were not given uh, like they were not sent to schools. They used to learn from their parents, their elder brother, sister that way. Okay, and. how they used to do work how they used to learn that is given in this para like when they are just 5 years old parents used to go out and leave the younger children on their custody okay you take care of these people and when the boy is of 9 age then the parents used to take the father used to take or the elder person used to take him with him for doing work like fishing and all other like uh, many works like uh, fishing and all plantation how to plant coconut tree because it is an island so the work what they do over there will be either growing uh, plantation that is growing crops or fishing so in in the at the age of 9 only children start learning different different occupations and then when the girls are little bit more elder when they grow up little bit they become more adult adult means more they their age becomes bit more mature they become more high, mature then they were allowed to go and learn fishing and all okay and over there girls were also allowed to learn make basket making how to cut trees growing crops everything got it so this way there was no school no teachers but boys and girls used to learn everything from their forefathers from their father forefathers got it now then they are we uh, they are talking about some they are talking about the uh, situation of girls and boys in the year 1960s of madhya pradesh over there you know there were different school for girls and boys and the girls school na uh, for them to play and all the ground was not open it was fully four side covered with bricks so no one can see what they are doing inside okay they had proper security and over there it was like girls will go to school and quietly come back home they don't have to be here and there this was this way it was and for boys there was a separate school for boys over there it was open ground boys do whatever they want and girls when the bell rings when the school gets over quietly they walk on one lane in groups and they used because they used to get scared that someone will tease them or someone will attack on them quietly in groups they used to reach home fast fast by in the same place boys after the school leaves they used to stand on that lane they used to do mischief over there they used to do different actions with cycling and all got it so see how the difference was same way children this chapter makes us understand okay now if you are coming from different families now look there are time according to the customs or Uh, how broad minded your parents are now some parents na they they will treat their boy child differently and their girl child differently like boy whatever they demand it will be fulfilled but the girl they will teach them no you should not demand you should know how to learn, how to take uh, how to live without demanding much and all that so in different families you find a different way the people are the boys and girls are treated now simple example in olden days hindu girls were also not allowed to go out of the houses they just had to do work household work 
even now today in today's life also you know uh, the parents who are do not go for job they just do the household work so other people feel she is doing nothing but actually this household work is so it is so time consuming it is it takes long long time to finish whole household work to manage a house is not a simple thing correct but it differs from people to people now in olden days uh, household work was done only by the women and outside work was done by the boys but there were country uh, there there were places where like for example i gave you that island example over there cooking work was done only in one house means there was only one kitchen for all people for all all the com whole community okay all the people who live on that island there was only one kitchen over there and all the boys used to do the cooking work and ladies used to just help them out like in cutting and all getting so it was different in different different places now children where the girls are not allowed to go out of the house not to talk with anyone so those girls in future they will never develop the habit of being bold or doing something in life in their mind it is already settled down that they have to do as their mom did they just have to do and work at home but there are some people who say you know you household work to you learn but actually you be something in your life you become a teacher or you become something in your life what you want so it depends on how the family from what background you are coming this is the way your personality get developed okay now at present rules are there because of which you will not find anyone there is no boy and girl inequality everything where whatever boys can do even girls can do correct now if you see this picture over here there are two friends they both are talking about their mother and father this one girl is saying my mother does only household work she is not allowed to go out and do other work and the another girl is saying oh my mama is free to go outside she works outside also and she does household work also so this way different family different culture is there correct they follow different ways of treating girls and boys now there was one harmit a girl named harmit they uh, she uh, her harmit's parents used to encourage her ke household work you learn that is good but you should do something more than that means you should study you should get knowledge you should get some good degree and do something so this will encourage you of the child correct and you know in olden days till now also it is that way till now it is that way if you are a boy a small kid boy they will give a gift as a car bike that toys and if it is a girl a doll will be given correct so this this is like creating a habit okay girls have to play with dolls because and should know how to take care of a doll means in short should know how to take care of a child and boys they can play with bike they can play with girls actually even girls would like to play with bike and car but gifts are only given this way so they are trained accordingly clear kids so this whole chapter is about inequality between boy and girl but now the situation has changed now you know in olden days a boy cooking was very like hardly you will find a boy doing any domestic work domestic work means the what the servants do na vessel washing vessels washing clothes sweeping the floor but now you will find everywhere boys are also doing and girls are also doing nowadays look boys go for study to to hostels away from their parents so they know cooking also they know domestic work also everything they do correct so actually you either you are boy or a girl you should know both the things inside of the house also you should know to do what work and outside work also you should know correct so this is the whole chapter about kids yeah i will give you the question answers today just complete your books bye bye kids